thousand American lives to be lost. And then they lost. You are, bitch. And in other countries, the losers get get hanged. But not in this country. I don't care. You don't care about homosexuals. They're supposed to be glorified? These losers? These, these traitors to the, to the country? Wait, is this the stand up comedy part? I'm laughing my ass off right now. They, they have a right. Sorry. Hey guys, just a little bit from the south and about that uh, Confederate flag that you tend to march under. First of all, you've got a surprise coming. It's not the Confederate flag. It flew over neither Richmond nor Montgomery. It was completely obscure until it became the emblem that the KKK marched under in 1903. So if there's any people of color over there, on the right, if there's any people that have friends that are people of color, you're marching under an emblem that results in your families and your ancestors' persecution. I don't either. That's why I'm here. What about that contractor? You know what? I would support So what we have here. What we have here is Joey Gibson coming out saying that he deserves a platform to come out here and, and have his freedom of speech. However, his freedom of speech entails hate speech, which is against gays, minorities, Mexicans, Muslims, and it doesn't matter what you say, it matters what you do, Joey Gibson. And what you are doing is supporting the side that's against gays and lesbians. It's against... Yes, it is. If you want to close, Joey, if you want to close down a border, that is a racist remark. Because first of all, this this land is based on immigration. So you're not making America great by shutting down immigration. That is completely un-American as far as you should be concerned. You have come here to disrupt this. I don't know why. This is just very annoying at this point. Yeah, you are. You're coming here. You're standing right in front of this, which is a cause which you are clearly not for. We asked you not to come. Make America great again? We can educate him about the war on drugs and how the U.S. war policy on drugs has created the border war. Where the ATF did the gun walking scandal called Operation Fast and the Furious. The ATF sold guns to the cartel's members. So we have, we have a government which is creating the problems that you are complaining about and now blaming the people for being a part of a Mexican race or a religion of Muslim. Totally disregarding the fact that the problems created which you are against these people has created by the government. Created by the government that you think is great. The problem with speech and hate the problem when Joey Gibson comes out here and preach hate and why we don't want to give him a platform is because people attack people for these ridiculous ideas like the guy who stabbed three people on a train because he was yelling racist remarks to two young Muslim girls. This is what happens when you provide people like Joey Gibson and his side the platform to speak out against people of entire religions and entire races. This is not freedom of speech. This is hate speech. And as Americans, we cannot stand against it. No hate speech! No hate speech! No hate speech! No hate speech! Joey Gibson, leave the park, please. Go home, Joey. Go back to Van Tuffy. I'm not Go home, Joey Gibson. Go home. And what I'm saying, Joey Gibson, is go home. Go home, Joey. We outnumber you every protest here. We outnumber you in thoughts because we are the side that makes sense. We are the side that holds everybody and gives people the chance. Because you are out here preaching hate. 
You were preaching hate. It's about what you stand for. It's about what you do. No, no, no. It's about who you associate with. Look at what you do, Joey Gibson. Look at what you do and what side you are on. You have to, you have to defend, Joey. You have to defend your side from lighting torches and doing heat style. All right. You are defending yourself. They're confused because they don't understand how the world is working. They do not understand the imperialist nation of America creating these problems that they like to complain about. They're going to complain about Muslims. Why? We have trained Al-Qaeda to fight Russia back in 1980. We have trained these radical Islamists to do the, uh, the Syrian war. The FBI and the CIA have factions that are fighting themselves in Syria. We are creating problems, and now you're going to ban those people when they try to run away and become safe? How dare you, Joey Gibson? If you had a family in fucking that place, sorry, I shouldn't come. If you had a family in that place, you would get that family out of there. How dare you stop other people from wanting to do that? Mexicans. As I said earlier, I will say a little bit more clear. There was an operation called Operation Fast and the Birds. This was known as the ATF gun-locking scandal. They sold 20,000 weapons to Mexican cartels, and they lost tracks of the guns. They lost track of the guns until one of them killed a Border Patrol agent. Now, if you look at the U.S. drug policy, and you see the private prison industry capitalizing off of people who are being arrested, you will see that prisoners who are really having violent prisoners cost the prison money. They would rather have non-violent drug offenders in them. This problem is stuck, but yet we are going to... So what was your name? Philip. That was great education on the past year.